Recording from the Sunshine City, St. Petersburg, Florida, overlooking beautiful Tampa Bay, this is the Sonography Lounge, sponsored by Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute. This podcast is dedicated to medical professionals and patients around the world interested in diagnostic and interventional ultrasound. Our podcast will discuss everything ultrasound, from news, trends, career paths, new technology, and industry updates. Hosted by Lori Green and Trisha Rio of Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute, they bring over four decades of experience in the ultrasound profession and are here to guide you through this journey. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Sonography Lounge. I'm Lori Green, and I'm here with Trisha Rio. Hey everyone downtown St. Pete's, beautiful out today, sunny day, and as you know, our sonography lounge, we talk about everything ultrasound, but today we are not. We (laughs) are bringing you a unique uh, session that we're going to talk about a lot of things that have recently happened to our area and how we are doing. Doing. How we're doing. Exactly. Yeah. So as some of you may have heard, we have been hit by two major storms uh, pretty much in the course of two weeks. So we just wanted to come on, let you guys know we're here, we're alive, we're okay. Um, And we wanted to kind of give you a glimpse as to to what our daily life looks like down here in St. Pete. As you can see, um, it's a beautiful day. It's sunny out. We've got a little bit of breeze. We're enjoying the sunshine. And the city is hustling and bustling. In fact, looking around, you would never know that anything even happened. Um, We wanted to give you guys some fun information. So I'm going to start out with just a little bit of information regarding hurricanes. Our area, the Tampa Bay area, hasn't been hit by a major hurricane since 1921. That's a long time, over 100 years, 103 years. Uh, And the National Weather Service began naming storms in 1950, beginning with a code based on the phonetic alphabet and then moving into naming them women's names and then men and female names. They started first with the Atlantic Oceans and then went into the Pacific and uh, Gulf, and that's how they started naming the storms. So prior to that, it was just the year of the storm and the area that it hit, which made it confusing for people who were trying to track the storms. Additionally, uh, if a storm is particularly damaging or deadly, they will retire that name. So we don't expect that we're ever going to hear Hurricane Helene again. Or At Milton. least we hope not. Or Milton. Yeah, or Milton. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And, you know, over the years, I've actually lived in uh, Florida, in the St. Petersburg area, since 1975. It's a long time. And, and throughout the time that I've lived here, we have never had any storm that has uh, been as devastating as these two hurricanes. And we've never had two hurricanes back to back within two weeks hitting our area. And I actually live on St. Pete Beach as well. And I've been there for 30 years and the same thing. There's just, this has been a historic event for us. But as you can see from being down here, we have, uh, we are very resilient in Florida. We're Florida strong. And that's why we wanted to bring this to you, as Tricia said, was we wanted to show you firsthand how beautiful it is in downtown St. Pete, right where our uh, facility is located. And um, just go through a few things with you on how we have overcome some of these, these major um, obstacles, but we're still here for you. And so as Tricia was saying, we haven't had a hurricane uh, in 103 years that would hit our area. And, and so a lot of people have always asked me as well, just even when we don't have hurricanes, and you know, why is it that that happens? And probably if you talk to a meteorologist, they would, they would say, you know, really what happens is typically when hurricanes come into the Gulf of Mexico, they pretty much parallel the coast of the Tampa Bay region. So ultimately what happens, of course, this is all during due to winds and uh, steering currents and all of that sort of thing. But it, historically, the hurricanes will come into the Gulf of Mexico, they'll parallel our area, and then end up going up to the Panhandle or maybe veering off to the west or the east slightly. But in order for a hurricane to actually hit direct to Tampa Bay, it would have to come up into the Gulf, make a 90 degree turn, and hit Tampa Bay. Or, in this case, it started in Mexico, which never happens, and came directly at us. So, um, that's kind of the the theory behind why we have been um you know free of hurricanes substantial hurricanes that's um, a scientific theory that's anyway. a scientific theory right <laughs> yeah exactly but you have a more interesting I do. theory i have more of a fun fact theory <laughs> 
And so there are different theories on why we have not been hit by a hurricane in so many years. And so what some people may not realize is that our area has many locations throughout the Tampa Bay um, that has um, sacred mounds. And these sacred mounds are all over the place, but many of them are waterfront. We have uh, sacred mounds that are in Old Northeast. We have them in the Southeast of St. Pete. We actually have sacred mounds that are right down about two blocks from us at the Vinoy, and our facility is just located down here as well. But one of the more popular areas where we have sacred mounds is in a location on uh, the western side of St. Pete, but also a waterfront, and it's referred to as Abercrombie Park. And so these mounds were the works of indigenous uh, cultures that dated back as far as five to 7,000 years ago, so a long, long time ago. And um, the mounds are located in different areas, as I said, but the Tobagos, uh, it's the Tocobago, were living here when the Spanish explorers arrived in the 1500s, and they remained in the Tampa Bay area for over a thousand years. So as you might expect, everyone who lives in this area um, highly respects those sacred mounds and do our best to protect them. And legend has it that the Tampa Bay area has been protected for over a hundred years by these sacred mounds, and that's why that we haven't had any hurricanes directly hit Tampa Bay. However, However, there's always one. <laughs> there's always one, right? <laughs> Recently, there was a resident who moved to St. Pete from another state and decided that he wanted to expand his driveway. And his home was located very close proximity to these, these mounds. And so he wanted to expand his driveway, which unfortunately disrupted one of the mounds. And so when that happened, then of course the archaeologists came in and the city officials and so forth, and they found uh, many artifacts from that era and even skeletons that were found. The next thing you know, we have two hurricanes directly hitting our area within two weeks of each other. Now, although the protection of the mounds is considered to be a legend by some, others think that it's just merely a myth. Nevertheless, these are historical events that have happened in our area and back to back. And so you just, I just go with the some things just make you go, hmm. hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come to St. Pete or Florida, please don't disturb our sacred right. Indian burial grounds. Exactly. <laughs> because you just don't know. You just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on, you know, it's really interesting information we wanted to bring to you guys. Some fun legends that uh, the local people talk about a lot when we talk about why these hurricanes hit us, how these hurricanes hit us. And a lot of people move to this area because they, they've depended on that uh, legendary mm -hmm. story as a protection for them. And now we're kind of like, well, maybe not, but mm -hmm. we're going to try to get back to protecting those mounds so this right. doesn't happen again. Absolutely. But back to our town, um, as you can see, there's people out walking, they're walking their dogs, they're running, they're exercising, they're just having a really great time. And we just wanted to come on, let you guys know, come on down and visit us. 80% of our businesses and hotels have reopened. Uh, there's people sitting out having lunch right now. There's nothing to be afraid of. This isn't a war zone. We are living life as we normally were. Um, as Lori said, she is uh, she calls St. Pete Beach home, and there is some differences, but mostly mm -hmm. it's just back to yeah. business as usual. So, you know, it's a good time to come and visit. 35 miles of our Gulf Coast beachfront are accessible and ready to enjoy. So if you do want to take in the beach while you're here, there are definitely areas where you can do that. We also have a very vibrant downtown nightlife. There's also the amazing 26-acre St. Pete Pier. It has a museum, playground, restaurants all sorts of fun things to do and great walking trails in the local area. So we definitely encourage you, come down to St. Pete, come visit us. We are Florida strong, we are resilient, but we also are a tourist state and we, we really rely on you guys coming down here, spending your dollars and playing in our home. So we invite you to come down, take in a course, get your ultrasound on with us, but enjoy the area as well. Great. It's not as bad as it seems. Yeah. I mean, we have had a lot of calls and people concerned yeah. about how the area is, it, is it back together again? Am I walking into a war zone? And, you know, we, we, we definitely, that's the reason for doing this is just to, you know, help to um, reaffirm that we are back. We're fully functional. We're offering all of our classes, anything that you need from Gulf Coast. We are here. The beaches are rapidly coming back. It's only been four weeks. And having lived out there, I've watched it go from one extreme to the other. And exactly on Sunday, I was telling Tricia that I um, 
was actually out on St. Pete Beach for sunset and it was beautiful. The sand is probably even nicer than it, what it was before hurricanes. It's that soft sugary sand. The sunset was beautiful, green flash. So if you haven't seen a green flash, you see them a lot here in Florida. Yeah. So we are back, we are back, we are strong. There's no reason to have concern for coming to Florida, especially St. Pete area, one of our classes, because we're fully functional and our town and our city is up and running and vibrant and you're going to have an amazing time if you come. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us for this special episode. We look forward to bringing you more content in the coming weeks. So please make sure you're following us and get social with us. You can join us on X, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, you want to subscribe to our podcast, The Sonography Lounge. All right. We wish you all a great day. Happy scanning. Happy scanning. Thanks for listening to the Sonography Lounge. Don't forget, if you like this episode, please subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also find us on Instagram, at Sonography Lounge, and Twitter, at Sonography LNG. If you have any questions, comments, or topic suggestions, feel free to send an email to us at sonographylounge at gmail.com. Have a great week and scan, scan, scan.